Good evening. Welcome to WSBI, your resource for success podcast program, where you get to meet inspiring women-owned businesses from across the country. And now for your host, Kimberly McElmore. All right. Good evening and welcome to WSBI, your resource for success podcast program, where you get to meet inspiring entrepreneurs and women owned businesses from across the country. I am your host, Kimberly McLemore, president and CEO of the Women's Small Business Initiative, LLC and award winning author. Tonight's show is partnered with ADP, the go-to place to better build and manage your business. And welcome to another night of sharing. With us, we have special guest Antonia Nuez Samanigo, ADP business consultant and friends. And we have some friends with us that she has brought and we'll get to her in a minute. But before that, I would like to just tell you a little bit more about Antonia. She is the district manager for ADP. She provides expedited service. HCM Expertise, HR and Payroll Consulting, and Error Correcting Solutions powered by technology and AI to the accounting and small business community. So without further ado, please help me welcome to my platform, Ms. Antonia nuez Seminigo. Hey, Antonia, how are you today? Hi, Kimberly. I'm well. How are you? I am doing good. I'm excited that you are here with me tonight. We're finally getting this ADP Lunch and Learn series off and running. So this is exciting. But I, but before we jump into all that, I know you have a friend on. So you want to introduce your guest with us this uh, afternoon? Yes, of course. Let me just say I'm super excited to be here as well to share all, um, all about the resources that ADP has to offer. Um, you know, it's kind of a full circle moment for you. I know we, we've been working on a lot of things on the back end, but as I mentioned, um, yeah, I have my licensed retirement partner, Natasha Hall, here. We work hand in hand um, as business consultants together um, for with business owners. So hi, Natasha. Hi. Hey. So glad to be here. Super, super excited to kind of talk through some things that um, we see out talking with small business owners. So super grateful to be here and excited for our conversation today. Well, I'm excited to have you both on and, you know, there's a lot that needs to be said about ADP. I know you guys have been around for many years. So before we dive into some of the things we're going to talk about in this series, why don't you guys tell us a little bit more about ADP and what you actually do? Um, Because I know people have heard of you, but, you know, sometimes people have a tendency to forget. So why don't you guys tell us, uh, give us a little intro on ADP as a whole. Yeah, of course. So, uh, um, ADP is a, does a lot of things. I feel like when people hear about ADP, they think of this like huge company that works with big businesses to offer, you know, payroll and HR. When um, in reality, yes, we do offer those resources, but specifically at what Natasha and I work with, we work in the small business sector. So that's anywhere from with business, anywhere with businesses, anywhere from one to 49 employees. And we we're really as business consultants helping them with payroll, you know, their HR resource too, but also uh, um, uh, other offerings like retirement, workers' comp, making sure they're compliant with the state, making sure um, all their tax filings are done, their time in attendance, mm-hmm. um, all the little nitty and gritty things that people don't really talk about when going into a business, but we take care of all that. Right. And I think that the big thing, too, is that a lot of times being a small business, we all assume that we have to have several employees, several staff before we can even think about talking to a company or organization like yours. So, you know, I, know I think this is a good opportunity for you to like, hey, let, you know, take this myth away. Can you tell us that process a little bit? Yeah. So the process with ADP, it's really simple. I know um, with our partnership, we actually have a landing page um, with provided links where business owners um, will be able to get a complimentary HR screening with me and Natasha and all of my partners. Um, we'll go ahead and talk about an employee count, um, kind of the stage of their business, um, mm-hmm. go over their HR screenings that they currently have. Let's say if they have an employee handbook, uh, making sure they're set up correctly with the state because some states are very um, with like withholding tax IDs, state unemployment tax IDs, um, making sure they have workers comp. Um, so uh, going through there and at the end of the day, also um, thinking about retirement, making sure, because um, I feel like 
what people or business owners they might shy away from is uh, putting stuff into retirement. This hence why we have Natasha today to give us more detail on that. But making sure that you know every business, no matter what size, is set up for success. Right, um, and it all just starts with one employee. And, and that's which the could be their job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And that's what I like you to what you just said is that it's about setting yourself up for success. And you gotta, I also realize you also um, provide a plan, um, a startup plan for people who are new in business and just trying, you know, even if they don't have the business prepared to go, you have documentation that they can review. And that's the thing I love about ADP is that you guys are all about the learning phase. It's not just about, hey, this is what we can give you and this is what you're going to pay for. It's truly truly setting that person up for success. And I know even for myself, I did not realize that ADP provided these avenues for for people who are just, like I said, if it's just one person in business. And I think that's the most important because that's usually the biggest fear that we have when we're coming into businesses, knowing what those resources are available or do we have to be a, you know, a huge success before we can reach out to people and, and such as your organization and, and, and these companies as ADP. Um, I've been, I've had the opportunity to understand ADP because of working with other organizations um, and other businesses. Um, you know, we use the, the big part was the HR piece, you know, understanding the payroll and mm-hmm. understanding the retirement. Right. But not really truly understanding all the other things that come into play with that. So touch a little bit for me, um, Anthony, about the startup. Um, you know, you have a guide that is provided that people can review. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, well, so what ADC does is, I mean, we pay one in five Americans, so all the data and everything, we have so much to offer um, the, in every single industry, um, and quite frankly, like um, from restaurants all the way from landscaping, all the way from like white collar and blue collar. So um, that's the beauty of ADP. Um, the guidebook really just talks about, okay, so uh, I want to start my business. One, do I have funding? Okay, I have funding. I have my location. I'm ready to start hiring employees. How does that hiring process look like? Um, ADP offers these resources that we have, like with ZipRecruiter and other partnerships to tailor it to, to um, every business owner's needs. Um, then after that, we will talk about payroll because, you know, payroll is important. It's how people are going to get paid at the end of the day. Are they going to be W-2, 1099 mm-hmm. employees? What type of work does every business do? And then... You go into like the state filings. Um, some states require you to have like state IDs, and then the process could be, you know, some states take two weeks, and other states you get them immediately. And so making sure you're aware of those changes, and then in the filings, how you're set up, which is monthly, quarterly, weekly, it all depends on the business and mm-hmm. the amount of work you do. And then uh, we talk about um, do you have. Um, the proper HR, do you need an employee handbook? What type of work do you do? Um, uh, what type of resources are you trying to offer to your employees? What benefits do you want to do? Um, are there any tax savings um, that you're trying to, that you are trying to get by offering a benefit to your employee? Um, so it's mm-hmm. kind of like that. It, I mean, it's never really too early to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. I know I feel like when people talk about payroll, they're like, oh, I need to have three or four employees. Like, right. Honestly, right. no, you can start with one and you can start with paying yourself in mm-hmm. and uh, that process. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, that's like I said, I think a big part of it is fear. And the big part of that fear is because you don't have the knowledge. And I'm so thankful mm-hmm. that we have this partnership. So they have the opportunity to continue to educate people the way that they need to be educated. And that those questions that they've been scared to ask, we're literally throwing them out to you. <laughs> so it's like, hey, they're here. You don't have to worry. And nobody's going to judge you for not knowing because this is how you learn. So now let's kind of dive yeah. into what we're going to be discussing in like, so this is a monthly series that we're going to be starting. And we're so excited about this lunch and learn series that we're doing as a part of the podcast. And I love doing the podcasting because it reaches more people. This podcast alone is at the top of 10% globally. So that means we are global all over the world where people are actually learning and listening. And so even though I'm, you know, I'm not sure how far ADP reaches globally, but at the end of the day, we'll be able to, you know, connect you with Antonia. And then also, you know, we will make sure that if you're outside the areas that, that she is currently in, that we can make sure that everybody's connected properly. So let's dive into Natasha, go ahead and let's hear what you have to say about 
the retirement side and whatever else you would like to share with us this evening. So welcome on mm-hmm. and aboard, Natasha. Yeah, awesome. Like I said, so happy to be here. And I love a lot of the points that Anthony's made about, you know, you're never too small because I think that's what I emphasize especially on the retirement piece, right? Like she's mentioned that the payroll can be kind of overwhelming. And, you know, when you're just starting out, you always feel, I think it's common for small business owners to feel like they're too small. And I think what's so cool is we get to work with, you know, single owner companies that are just starting out. A lot of times they might start as like a side hustle. And then we just deep dive in and make them think about things that maybe they didn't get into business for. And that's where kind of I come in from assisting Asanae and her clients with the idea of potentially retiring someday. Because I think it's so cool that entrepreneurs all across the country and like you mentioned globally are starting their own own companies and uh, very often they forget about you know maybe putting some of the money that they're making aside for their future self so really my job is to just come right alongside the payroll conversation and say hey look you're paying yourself today you're paying your employees today how can we make sure you know you're paying yourself your future self as well how are mm-hmm. we setting yourself up for some day to hopefully retire too. So that's really my role um, kind of within this whole process is, hey, if you're talking about payroll, you're talking about, you know, future goals within your company, how could how does retirement, like a 401k benefit, right. potentially fit in with a small business? And my job is to educate them. And I think that's what um, this podcast is all about, <laughs> learning more. <laughs> exactly. So what retirement um, options do they have to choose from? Obviously, you you know have to gather the information, a lot of it, before you can pick one. But just kind of give us a little quick mm-hmm. um, overview of what that may look like. Yeah, I will tell you that the retirement industry is um, it's tough to understand, to be honest. And I think that both the good and bad of the industry. It can be very complicated because of the tax implications. Mm -hmm. But the short answer is it it can get very specific really quick. So uh, that's why we always kind of do one-off processes. They can take five minutes with me, you know, talking with the business owner to kind of learn their specific goals. But at a high level, there's a goal, there's an option for every business owner. Like Austin said, even if there's a one employee, um, ADP can help offer company sponsored plans. So if a business owner is starting on payroll, there's several options. The most common is obviously the 401k. That's the most familiar, a lot of flexibility in those types of plans. There's also what's known as a simple IRA. It's kind of like a baby brother to a 401k. Um, there's less flexibility, but can also be a great option for somebody starting out. And there's also a SEP IRA, which is common for kind of single employee companies, but it's mm-hmm. just themselves. So those are kind of like the three main plan options that we talk through uh, to help find the best solution for each individual company. Okay. So um, let's, I guess I want to kind of focus a little bit more on the individual because like I said, a lot of people who are coming in business, they're, they're thinking, hey, there's a future here, but we don't know. So being able to sit down <laughs> yep. immediately and, and talk about their, um, you know, their retirement, people just don't think that far ahead. So dive in a little bit more on the process of the being, is it called safe again? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I miss, um, heard you on that. Yep. So yes. Yeah, so talk a little bit more into that. Yeah, so um, it just really depends on a lot of things because I think when it comes to retirement, a lot of people think employee count Mm -hmm. when really it's more of a tax play. And so um, when I talk business owners, it's really, hey, how much money are you expecting to make at this? Because that's really what drives a lot of the type of plans is, hey, the limits on how much you can put into it. So um, like I said, there's a SEP IRA, there's a simple IRA, and there's a 401k. And mm-hmm. they all have different limits. And it kind of depends on how much they're paying themselves through payroll. And there's a lot of moving pieces on the back end. Um, but I will tell you a majority of the plans that I start are for single owner companies, right? Because those are sometimes the ones that are most profitable. Right. Because sometimes when you start adding headcount and things like that, you're kind of becoming an established business. You might have a brick and mortar and your expenses are going up. So sometimes they aren't as profitable. And and really the, the business owners that really need a retirement plan are the ones that are just working for themselves mm-hmm. by themselves, right? Because mm-hmm. they're they're not working for another company. They don't have access to a retirement plan through, you know, another job or another means. 
So, yeah, there's a couple different options, but usually it's more of a drive of how much could you afford to put away Mm -hmm. and how much are we trying to avoid on taxes is really the big play, especially when it's just one owner. Right, right. Because a lot of times people don't understand the process of, hey, you're saving money now, but when you decide to pull that money out and it's time for that retirement that you will have to pay taxes. And a lot of people shun from that because Mm -hmm. they are concerned about paying those taxes. So what is some of the education that you guys provide in reference to the retirement side? I know you guys have um, monthly type programs and, you know, some of the things that I have been advertising because I think it's so important that people understand that there's always something going on at ADP that can keep people um, reinforced and provide those resources to keep their mind going and understand that this is, these resources are here, but you have to learn to educate yourself by, by action, by getting involved. Right. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. you know, it's one yeah. thing to have it, but it does yeah. nothing if you don't listen and learn. Right. Yeah. I think it's so fun because it's kind of twofold when a business owner sits down to me, I think it's so cool because I can kind of bring, like I said, the complicated, you know, knowledge of the industry mm-hmm. and really tailor it to what they're looking for. So kind of upfront, I think it's, it's a sigh of relief. A lot of times when business owners talk with me because they said, you know, I feel overwhelmed when I search it online and it's so much resources and I don't know what to do. Right. So right. kind of the upfront, I feel like a lot of business owners, like you mentioned, love the kind of hands on support that um, ADP provides through I myself of like, hey, business owner, like, let's talk through your specific plans and goals. And let me tell you what I've learned and how that applies to you, which I think is really helpful. Because like Akhani mentioned, like a lot of times business owners, you know, they might go into business to go into retail, right? And they don't understand 401k versus simple IRA conversation. Mm-hmm. So it's like, how can we bring some of the complicated back office stuff and simplify it and tailor it to them. And then like you mentioned, kind of the ongoing, the support and the education. Um, I always say like ADP data is nearly our middle name, right? right. When it comes to resources and right. education and like there's nowhere else they're going to find better resources. And especially when it comes to the retirement piece, mm-hmm. I think knowledge is power because when we're talking about retirement plans, we're talking about people's money. It's really important right. that people take the time to slow down and figure out how their money could work for them. Mm-hmm. So there's tons of online resources and calculators and tools that business owners can use to adjust their plans and things like that over time. Right, right. And I agree with you on that. And I think a lot of times when I, when I have talked to a lot of people, um, you know, in the business and outside of the business, it amazes me how people are like, well, I'm going to go out and get another job so I can, you know, prepare for my retirement. Like, why are you having to feel like you got to work these extra hours in order to think that you need more money to bring in? And a big part of that is because they haven't been educated. They don't understand that having to go out and work another eight hour job, mean, that's great, but you're still not going to mm-hmm. get the money that you need. It's just understanding what those resources are, you know, to prepare for retirement, how the ways that you can invest in yourself without having to feel like you got to break your back in order to get the extra Mm -hmm. funds that you think you need. So I I think it's amazing, you know, that you guys have these programs available. And like I said, it's, it's so easy to limit yourself, especially when you're working for an organization and a company that provides the services, but you don't really think much of it. You know, you just kind of React because mm-hmm. you have to. You understand? <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's yep. one of, right, the you know? the other the other thing I've noticed sometimes, and I don't know if this applies to some of your listeners, but you know, especially like startup companies, mm-hmm. a lot of them they cash in their retirement in order to start their company. Like yes. they might have a four hundred one k or retirement plan, and yes. they use that money to start their business, which I'm not opposed to that. But the problem is they just kind of depleted some of their future retirement. Mm -hmm. And so I talk to a lot of business owners that feel like they're behind because of that. You know, Mm -hmm. fast forward five, 10 years, they've started their company. And it's very easy to just kind of forget that they've not put money aside. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think that's really something to consider, too. Like I've had people use their retirement accounts to start businesses, which can be awesome. But we also have to remember, you know, a lot of times business owners, you know, because they don't have the luxury of working for someone, um, there's a lot of benefit to starting something for themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And as I always tell people when you're coming into business, it's okay to hold <laughs> on to your, uh, the money that you have. So in other words, you know, if you're working right now, don't just get up and quit, you know, look at that as, Hey, this is guaranteed mm-hmm. income. This will, this will set you off. 
even if you do have that retirement money set it to the side, that way you don't have to pull that right away. Utilize the tool that you mm-hmm. have and start slowly. Educate yourself on what that startup startup looks like, like what Anthony was talking about earlier when we were talking about the, having a startup guide. People just don't want to take mm-hmm. the time sometimes just to read. Take your time. Understand mm-hmm. that it doesn't have to be an overnight success because it takes years to build a good not good business, but a great business, right? It's not something that Mm -hmm. happens overnight. So to have these resources available and to uh, to be able to get involved, there's no more excuses of, well, I don't have the information. It's it's truly about where do you find it? Who can you connect with? And I'm like I said, I'm thankful that I have this partnership because Mm -hmm. now I can truly connect people in a way that, you know, it's one thing for me to tell you how the process runs because I've been doing it off and on for years myself. But it affects me. And so how does that affect the other individual? Mm -hmm. And this is the reason why having these discussions are so important. So I want to dive in a little bit, um, Antonia, about some of the trainings that you guys are providing and what are some of the other items that you may have going on for the month of August that people need to be more aware of and they can start looking at and having these discussions with you. Yeah, the awesome thing about ADP is that we are heavily involved in every part of the business. ADP offers like a series of webinars that you, that business owners can watch and hear. Um, you know, they can put it all in the background. Something that we have going on for this this month is obviously lots of retirement things going on, but then also um, getting ready for. Um, a, for PEOs, that's a little bit about total source. That's um, for businesses that kind of, you know, are more established and everything. Mm-hmm. But since it's the end of the year, um, we they might be looking into benefits and renewals and um, trying to capture everything in an umbrella. So uh, those are some details that are going to be pushed out. But um, we also, I mean, there's honestly, with ADP, it's not really about timing because you could need payroll or workers comp or retirement at any point of the year. Mm-hmm. And with ADP, it's like, we're always going to be there. So right. it could be January 1st. It could be mid May or mid August. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's a little bit about that, but um, other resources that we have um, going on this month, Tasha, do we have something about retirement going on with ADP of a webinar that you know of? Um, I believe we have some coming up because of some of the recent legislation that was passed in regards to the retirement piece. Um, so we can be sure to post some of that stuff on like the landing page when there's different, there's uh, I think even some like on demand ones that are available now to just kind of touch on some of the, the recent tax credits and things like that in regards to retirement. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because that's important. As I know, like I said, I've been providing a link so that people can kind of follow um, to see what's available throughout the month and, and so forth so that they're, it's always available so they don't have to necessarily depend and say, hey, I need to reach out to you and can you give me that information? We will always have that provided, um, whether it's on the landing page, whether it's on our social media platforms, definitely we'll have the information so that people can just connect immediately and just follow what they feel comfortable with and then that also will give them the opportunity to to listen and learn and then can reach back out to um, ADP rep, which is Antonia, um, so that we can, you know, she can have that conversation to help people get started as well. So what else would you guys like to start, start talking about? We have a few more minutes. Um, is there anything else new that you would like to mention that's coming, um, coming out soon? Yeah, I'll just mention briefly kind of in, in regards to the retirement that I was, you know, briefly touched on with some of these tax credits, Mm -hmm. um, which is why I think it's even more like uh, applicable for small businesses to at least learn their options when it comes to potentially offering a retirement benefit for themselves or if they have employees, because there's been some legislation that was just passed at the end of uh, 2023 that allows small business owners to capitalize on some tax credits that help offset like the cost of an administrative plan or the potential cost of a match for their employees. Um, because I think there's really been this push recently legislatively to get small business owners to start plans for, you know, some of the reasons that I mentioned earlier, people mm-hmm. are cashing in their 401k plans. A lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck. Right. Don't think it's available or they don't think it's an option to put a little bit aside. Um, so that's probably one of the most recent things that's happened is because 
you know, in some states, it's even becoming mandated that some small businesses, you know, often you mentioned that different states have different rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. The same thing for retirement. There's some states that require small business owners to start stuff. So that'll be all part of the resources and things that we have online that business owners can go online and read, you know, how some of that legislation affects them, which is cool. Yeah, right. And that's important, (laughs) right? And that's important. Yeah, the tax piece is what most people turn a blind eye to. (laughs) <laughs> they don't think about it until mm-hmm. the, the end of the year or something else. Till tax up time. And, <laughs> right. And then it's like, well, what? I didn't know anything about that. But and, that, and this is the reason why this is so important to have these conversations again, you know, about educating yourself and educating your business, because it's being a business is a constant growing process. It's not about, you know, like I said, having perfection up front. And, but I think a big part of the problem with most people in their business are so focused on the craft and they don't think about all the things that, that come with that beyond just their craft and what they're doing. They're, they're, you know, being the expert of what they're doing. So this is so key because the tax piece is the, the things that we just don't know. And I always tell people, step your, you know, stand to the side, stop trying to do things you don't know how to do because that will get you in more trouble than it will be helping you. Mm-hmm. So if you're trying to save a few dollars, yeah. it's not worth it, right? Uh, so, you know, it's it's very yeah. great. It's great to have this education available and um, being able to reach out to uh, Natasha to help with that. So Natasha, what I would like for you to do is share your contact information with us so that um, if they do want to directly reach out to you, before, you know, and they feel like they're already, you know, established business, they definitely want to just talk about retirement. Could you please provide your information? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, my job is really just to walk business owners through their options to see if it makes sense for them now or in the future. And like you mentioned, like it's a growing process. Um, and sometimes it's a tax play more so than anything. So we'll absolutely share my contact information so business owners can reach out and um, kind of have this individual conversation and resources too. Excellent. Excellent. So what we'll do is that, you know, I'll definitely have the information we'll provide it in the show notes so that people will be able to review that and reach out. But of course, you know, the first person we want to be able to reach out to is our ADP rep, which is Antonia. So Antonia, mm-hmm. I know that you have a, a slew of information to provide and we're going to talk about that in a second. So before though, we um, let you go, Natasha, I wanted to thank you so much for coming on and spending time and yes, providing your information. It's been a pleasure. Well, again, I'm, yes. I'm just, I appreciate it and uh, glad that you were able to, to get in here <laughs> so we can get this done because I know mm-hmm. we've been talking about this for a little while. So thank you for your time. Yes, we appreciate it. I appreciate you guys let me um, join and look forward to um, talking with some of your listeners. Well, all right. Well, again, we'll be talking to you <laughs> soon because we're going to be doing more of these retirement series. Um, we'll have more discussion about it. And we'll have things that where we'll be taking each one of those sections of information that you talked about this evening on how to set up your retirement. We'll start talking about that one by one as well. So we'll be uh, talking with you again soon. Awesome. I look forward to it. All right. Well, thank you again for joining us. And so back to you, Antonia. So what else would you, we got a couple more minutes. So is there anything else you would like to share before we end our conversation this afternoon? Yeah, I mean, I want to make sure everybody that's listening is don't be afraid to reach out. Um, You know, my job is to be a consultant and actually walk you through every single step of setting up your business successfully. I think when people shy away from when talking to a, like a big company like ADP, they're like, oh, um, they're too busy working on something else. Like they're not ever going to answer my questions. Like, no, this is what the partnership is about for you to have um, a guided person, which would be me and this partnership to reach out, ask questions and make sure your business is set up for to success. Um, and that way below on the notes, my contact information is there. Feel free to email me, call me with any questions because at the end of the day, I'm here to be a resource. Um, and, uh, with the Women in Small Business Initiative, like we're helping each other, especially women. I'm a woman myself, and I want to be able to educate and help the un- underserved community that is growing at an immense rate. So do not be afraid to reach out. Exactly. I know with our partnership, it's just to educate. Yeah, it's just to educate and don't ever be scared. Like, no no question's a dumb question. Right, right, <laughs> because right. Because you know? Right. We're all, we're all human, and but we're here. But we're here to we're here to learn and uh, um, ask questions and learn from each other. So right. definitely reach out and 
and I'm excited to, about all the other resources we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about in our series um, and the everywhere from retirement like today and workers comp benefits and more of the payroll on the HR side of ADP. Exactly. Yes, it's exciting. And yeah, the thing, the, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. But the thing I want to mention too before <laughs> you, you get off is that the, the thing that's important is that what people need to think about, and this is for the listeners, stop worrying about money. Stop thinking ahead before you get the information. You know, learn first from, from ADP, from Antonia and from Natasha before you all start to think, oh my God, I can't afford this. Because that's usually the first thing that comes to mind is when people start thinking about these resources that are available that don't really understand that, that education is free. Everything else comes in time. But we won't be they won't be able to help you unless they can communicate with you about what your needs are. So it's really important that everybody get that out of your mind first. Let's, you know, sit down, have that great conversation that you're going to need to have with Antonia and Natasha about your future and about your business, because that's what's important. And I think that's the thing that, you know, people really need to hear because this is always the priority. Well, can I afford it? Can I afford it? Because it's the number one thing when you're new in business. It's about trying to figure out what you can and cannot afford. So this is an opportunity for them to help you walk through that process. It's not just, you know, we're going to, they're going to throw in your face. Hey, here's the information. Now you figure out what you want. It doesn't work that way. We're truly here. And like I said, with our partnership, it doesn't, it's not just on them as a part as the CEO of WSBI. I'm here as well to provide those resources, resources to help you get educated. This information is coming through the newsletters on the monthly basis. If you're not a part of the newsletter, reach out to me. I will make sure that you get that information. It's also part of the regular social media that we put out weekly as well. And then now we have a podcast series, but you don't have to stop there. Like I said, if you need to communicate directly, we're going to provide that information. I'm going to give you that here in a few seconds. But in the meantime, I want to say again, thank you so much, Antonia, for coming on and spending the afternoon with me. We are looking, can't wait to talk to you again for the next month when we come out with our next series. But until then, um, you know, thank you. And, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoon. All right. So now the one thing that I want to talk about here is like I said, before we close tonight's show, we learned how, how ADP connects with you personally and professionally. So again, don't be afraid to reach out. That is so important for you to do is to reach out to us if you need help. So this leads me to ask you listeners, are you ready to uplift your business? Reach out to me at Kimberly at WSBILC at gmail.com and let's chat about your dreams and turn them into goals. Want more of your resource for success? Monetary donations to support the podcast are now accepted on Cash App, PayPal, Good Pods, Tip Jar, or go directly to the website at www.wsbilc.com. To learn more on how to better leverage your business, ADP has identified five primary challenges, hiring, financing, access to growth resources, employee experience and access to payroll and HR tools. Educating yourself on what's best for your business is free, people. Contact our ADP rep. You just heard her, Antonia Nuez Samanigo. I will make sure that you have her information. If you want to call her, here's the number, 317-983-8287. We'll also make sure you have her email address. But again, I would like to thank you all for listening to us tonight. We'll be back next week with more amazing guests. Be sure to follow us on iHeartRadio or wherever you listen to your podcast. But until then, enjoy the rest of your evening and good night. Good night, everyone. We will be back next Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Follow us on Spreaker, www.spreaker.com slash user slash WSBI. View our new WSBI website anytime at www.wsbillc.com and on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram. 